Dr Grant, could you explain in a few words what the greenhouse effect actually means? Well, in simple terms, the sun heats the Earth's surface and the Earth radiates energy back out into space. Some of the radiation gets trapped in the atmosphere by greenhouse gases. This trapped radiation warms the atmosphere and some of it goes back down to the Earth, making it hotter than normal. This is the greenhouse effect. So, is carbon dioxide the problem? Yes, and other gases too. Methane being released from paddy fields, commercial oil and gas from landfills, vegetation left to rot without oxygen. These days, there are more greenhouse gases than ever because of human activities and especially the burning of fossil fuels. What kind of problems do scientists foresee? Well, ice caps melting and sea levels rising mean that eventually cities like London, New York, Sydney and Tokyo will be submerged. This is difficult to imagine, of course. It seems incredible. No wonder scientists are worried. Well, some scientists are optimistic. They believe that positive feedbacks from ice clouds and their water vapour could have an impact on global warming. Other scientists are more sceptical. They suspect that we have been wrong in our initial analyses of the situation and might need to go back to the drawing board. So, are you saying that some scientists don't believe in the greenhouse effect? No, I wouldn't go that far. In fact, without the greenhouse effect, the planet would be frozen and no life forms would exist. Is there anything that could protect us from global warming? I'm glad you asked me that. Yes, volcanoes. When a volcano erupts, it throws debris up into the stratosphere. This protects the Earth from solar energy by scattering the sunlight. Mm -hmm. Of course, the best thing that we can do is to address the problem seriously on a world level. That's where the Kyoto Treaty enters the picture. If all of the governments in the world would commit themselves to making a real effort to work together on this issue, we might be able to slow down the process and work out a solution. So, how worried do we need to be? That depends. First of all, global warming isn't going to affect all areas of the planet to the same degree. Things like the collapse of glaciers take hundreds of years, so we are talking about a slow process here. Uh, slow enough for us to do something to prevent a catastrophe? Well, let's hope so. This recording was brought